Despite periodic travel warnings, tens of thousands of people from southern Arizona visit Sonora, Mexico every year. Yeah, and this week in particular, many are going to Alamos for an internationally known arts festival. News 4 Tucson's Paul Cicala traveled with them. Every year around this time, these narrow cobblestone colonial streets of Alamos, Sonora turn out to a big international arts festival. We are talking thousands of people from all parts of the world, including the United States, make it here for all of the festivities. And many of those that make it here are also Tucsonans. From musical displays in front of 17th century churches, to bands of folkloric entertainers parading the colonial streets of this historic town, to orchestras packing the plazas of Alamos. Tucson residents like David Nelson never skip a beat. I come down here and I think I died and went to heaven. That's because Nelson was pumped up to attend the Alfonso Tirado International Arts Festival. We travel into a lot of Mexican towns. This is the first time I've been in Alamos, so. But the fiesta here, the people, the food, it's really pretty tremendous. Ten days of fiestas named after the person many refer to as the Pavarotti of Mexico, who was born in Alamos. Joan Powell, a Green Valley resident who also owns a home in Alamos, says despite travel warnings to Sonora from the U.S. State Department, she is very comfortable. Around town, around here, it's very safe. You know, we have no problems walking around town at night. Um, no fear at all. Nor does Tucsonan Jim Wallman and his wife Patty. We've been doing it about 10 years now. This is the second year that we've done it all 10 days. Well, we usually come down three or four days. It is a great getaway. We love coming down. There's music morning, noon, and night, and in between the concerts and recitals, we eat. Eating and taking in some food for thought. It's incredible. About visiting our neighbors south of the border. Music to the ears of scores of Americans. You come and you enjoy. All the festivities here in Alamos, Sonora, Mexico, and the weekend of Saturday, January 30th. So you still have plenty of opportunities to come on out and enjoy all that Mexico has to offer. And of course, our border state of Sonora. Reporting from Alamos, Sonora, Mexico, Paul C. Cala, News 4, Tucson. Have fun. We were all a little worried he was going to we trip. Because <laughs> at 6 o'clock we ran a story about a person that was doing a selfie and trip. And trip. What a perfect weekend to be here. What a perfect weekend to be here in Alamos, Sonora, Mexico. There's no reason not to come explore Sonora. Uh, Wyma, San Carlos, Quino Bay, Hermosillo, Alamos. It's all beautiful here. And the... We have no idea what we have right in our backyard if you don't come out and explore it. And it is perfectly safe. That warning, we all heard the warning three days before we were leaving. It didn't phase us. You know, uh, we're in God's hands and it's you come and you enjoy what uh, this wonderful state also has to offer you. Right here, we tend to come for like the fiestas. We do a lot of his, history kind of stuff down here. Everything works out great, the people treat us super, and that works for me. Yeah, it's, it's great, and a lot of the Americans down here own houses, come down here part-time, and uh, I guess it's quite a community. We know a bunch of people down here. It's really a shame that there's so much publicity and about the violence in Mexico, because when you think about, I mean, I live near L.A., you know, there's, it's, <laughs> I don't want to walk the streets there, um, in, in certain, especially in certain parts. Um, it's, uh, you really need to compare. I mean, some, some people have done reports on the levels of violence and murders in, in places in Mexico versus cities in, in the U.S., and the U.S. comes off a lot worse when you look at the numbers. So, you know, but... Uh, People think, oh, in a foreign place, and you, you see all the violence. If you stay away from the drugs and stuff, you're not, you're not in the danger. It's wonderful to see Tucsonans, Nogalians, uh, people from Phoenix are down here. Um, 
it's amazing that they get the news and what is going on here and what this festival represents to the state, to the Hispanic uh, community. And there are so many people down here right now enjoying this. Again, you need to come down here and experience it. Uh, we've got so many Americans retiring here. We just took a tour up to the cemetery up here. And half of it is Americans that have lived here and have chosen to live their last days here. And uh, it's, it's, it's called Alamos Pueblo Magico. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's a magical little town. It's incredible. The most amazing festival ever. Obviously, I've lost my voice. It's so much fun. And it's a safe place. I'm bringing all of my friends here. People of Alamos are awesome, and the guys are mucho bueno. <laughs> Anything else to add that maybe I didn't ask? I, I'm actually going to buy a place here. I'm moving here. I'm going to buy a place here. I think it's very safe. We usually spend the night in San Carlos. We then get down here on the second day, go to a couple days, just hang out, go to the pool when it's warm. If it rains, you know, we get our umbrella out and we just wander around the town. It is just great. The food is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we went to a benefit dinner last night and had a five course wine tasting dinner. Uh, Mexico is becoming very middle class that a lot of people don't know and um, you can't get better food or drink than down here. How long does it take you to drive from, from Tucson? Uh, it's probably six or seven hours. Uh, we usually, uh, because you have to stop and get a visa. The people are very friendly. It's very nice, you know, it's just, and, and you know, you can either, you can be with the Mexican community or there, if you want to be with Americans, there's enough Americans here that, you know, you, you get to know people and, and you do things together too. And um, there's some good restaurants and it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And it is perfectly safe. That warning, we all heard the warning three days before we were leaving. It didn't faze us, you know. Uh, we're in God's hands and it's, you come and you enjoy. We want to bring all our friends here. Thanks for having us. Long Beach, California. I'm from Santa Cruz. And then final question, were you surprised to see so many Americans out here? Yes, I, I think it's great. I, everybody doesn't understand that it is safe and I think that um, everybody should come. Look at this, it's fantastic. It's awesome, super safe, easy, Fun, muchos de besos. <laughs> it's good. We've been coming down. We we take you know we don't drive the highways at night. We just we drive during the day, and um, but other other people drive it at night and don't have any problem. But around town, around here, it's very safe. Every year around this time, these narrow cobblestone colonial streets of Alamo Sonora turn out to a big international arts festival. We are talking thousands of people from all parts of the world, including the United States make it here for all of the festivities and many of those that make it here are also Tucsonans. So check it out my friends. All the festivities here in Alamo, Sonora, Mexico and the weekend of Saturday, January 30th. So you still have plenty of opportunities to come on out and enjoy all that Mexico has to offer and of course our border state of Sonora. Reporting from Alamo, Sonora, Mexico, Paul C. Cala, News 4, Tucson.
This is the first weekend here in Alamo, Sonora of the festival of Dr. Alfonso Ortiz Tirado. He was an artist that was born and raised in this area, but did a lot in the world besides music. He was actually a doctor. He served time as an intern in Denver, and of course, he worked as an opera singer in New York, and they've celebrated him in New York ever since, of course. Right now, this main Plaza de Armas, the main plaza in town, uh, is starting to get a little bit uh, more animated, so to say. They have a lot of music festivals, art festivals, art exhibits around. If I were to walk from you know this area to maybe 200, 300, 400 meters away, you'll find an exposition on every corner. But as you can see with the arches behind me, as you can see with this area here, it is a very colonial uh, city. One of the very few in Sonora, Mexico, as a lot of people who are familiar with Mexico know that it's more than just an ugly border town that we see in Nogales, Sonora, and other areas that once you get into the interior, uh, it's beautiful. And as you get even farther south, going through Sinaloa, Nayarit, all the way to Guanajuato, Mexico City, the whole nine yards, there's a lot more colonial streets, but this is one of the few colonial gems here in Mexico. And there are a lot of Americans that call this area home year around of course we had an opportunity in some of the interviews that i've had since i've been here uh, to talk to a lot of americans that are from tucson arizona as well that are visiting and taking advantage of this beautiful culture and it's not just a culture of mexico this is an international arts festival and for that reason people are coming from all around the world and in fact yesterday there was an indigenous dance group that came all the way from guatemala they were mayans and it appears that there might be even more today Check this out. Yes, this group is from Guatemala, parece. They had a similar presentation last night. And as you can see, as is the case in many towns south of the border, still in some parts of the United States, people gather around in church areas, the main plazas for entertainment, and of course, the next 10 days, this is exactly what we're going to see here in Alamos, Sonora, Mexico. So I'm going to walk through here, as you can see, a couple more Americans behind me. There's lots of them that truly appreciate it. And despite the fact that the U.S. State Department issues travel warnings from time to time, which you should take note of, it basically means if you're an inexperienced traveler, watch your back a little bit more, but proceed with precaution. When I'm in L.A., if I go to Disneyland, guess what? I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm not gonna go in the wrong neighborhood, otherwise I'm gonna get jacked, and that's the same case anywhere in Mexico. So if you use reasonable precautions, and I think the hundreds of other Americans that are here today will say the same, then you'll be fine. And of course, I travel on a budget anyway. It's not like I have any cash in my pocket. I take $35 bus rides that are overnight from Nogales here, sleep the whole way, and uh, then take advantage of everything. So. Anybody who says, wow, I wish I could do that. I want to do that just like you, Paul. I wish I could do it. Well, you can. Instead of paying 35 or 40 bucks for a meal at uh, one of your favorite restaurants, guess what? Make some sandwiches and, <laughs> and put that money in your pocket and take a bus here. Once you're here in Mexico, usually the uh, hotel rooms are 20 bucks or less. I mean, I don't know. All you need is a place to, uh, to, um, to sleep and to take a shower. But anyway. There is the historic cathedral right behind me. They said that uh, they built it after the San Javier del Bac in Tucson, Arizona. According to historians, they were hoping to make it like the White Dove of the Desert, what we have on the Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation, uh, the San Javier del Bac in Tucson, Arizona. It's a beautiful church, but nothing is like our White Dove of the Desert. But for now, I'm gonna hold off and uh, end this little report or this commentary, if you will, here in Alamos, Sonora, Mexico. Enjoy, my friends. God bless.